how should the chainsaw run? When we, we start to, uh, to look at different situations, oftentimes I discuss a little bit about how a chainsaw or trimmer or whatever two cycle should be adjusted. And I hear a lot of, of comments back and say, well, I, I really don't want my people, or I don't want people taking a screwdriver to the carburetor because they could really blow up an engine and we'd have trouble with the equipment. I think I, I see and hear about more chainsaws and trimmers blown up from lack of adjustment than I do somebody trying to adjust them. So you don't have to have a screwdriver to adjust the chainsaw or trimmer. You just have to know when it's out of adjustment. Make sure your tank is full of fresh mixed fuel. Clean your air filter. Close the screws clockwise slowly and don't force it. Screws may be marked on the carb or cover. The high speed is the H and is always farthest from the cylinder. The low, the L screw, is closest to the cylinder. The T or LA screw just opens and closes the throttle valve for idle. It allows more air. It doesn't adjust fuel into the run, just idles up and idles down. Open screws to a preset position. If limiters are present, Find a middle point on older saws without limiters, follow instructions in the operator's manual, or on the covers to a start position, usually one to one and a half turns out from the seat. Start the saw and let it warm up. It just takes a couple minutes. Make sure the clutch is not engaging the chain. If it isn't turn the T or LA screw counterclockwise until the clutch disengages. The engine should idle. If it idles smooth, I usually go to the high speed adjustment first, as many carburetors draw the low and acceleration circuit from the high speed screw setting. The low speed fuel supply is regulated by the H screw fuel. If you look inside the carburetor body, the channel that supplies the fuel to the low, the L screw, must pass the H screw setting to get there. That's called a dependent carburetor design. Many of the more efficient running saws will have this configuration. On an independent carburetor, there's a channel from the metering side of the carb to each screw separately. So if you set the H screw first on a dependent system, you will have your high speed set and adjustments to the low will not lean the high speed setting at full throttle. It's good to have a digital tachometer to check the results, but if you don't have one, listen to the engine flutter. We're going to set the high speed first. With full throttle held, turn the H screw clockwise right slowly until the engine sound flutter cleans out. Then turn the counterclockwise left just to the point the sound flutters. That's the point of maximum power of the engine and the point where the engine is going to get maximum cooling and clean burn of the fuel. You can check with a tachometer to make sure it's not above maximum no load RPM. If without the tachometer, the flutter point is where you need to leave it. Now check to see if the engine idles smoothly without the drive clutch engaging the chain. Adjust the T or LA screw in, turn it right, to idle up or left to go down until the clutch disengages. Next, roll the saw on the side and back again. There should be no change in RPM. If it starts to die, the L screw setting is too far open. It's too rich. Next, press the throttle. But if the engine hesitates before accelerating to high speed, the L screw is not open enough. It's simply too lean. Slight adjustment left or right will usually correct this problem. Run through these five steps throughout the day. It just takes a few seconds. First, air filter clean. Recheck it. Second, high speed to flutter. Third, make sure your chain idles and doesn't creep around. Fourth, your engine idles in all positions without going dead or changing RPM. And five, accelerates quickly back to high speed. 
It's also good to check these settings under load, like in a log, to make sure that the flutter is present. If these steps or settings do not achieve proper run results, you may have another issue with the fuel system. Spark or compression could be bad. It's good to understand this setting process even if you don't adjust your own saw. You will understand that when the engine is not sounding properly, it's not running correctly. And in a two cycle engine, something is about to break or damage internal parts. A properly adjusted saw is a pleasure to run. It's easy to start and fast cutting. Newer saws with auto tuning carburetors take care of these settings for you. But remember, a clean air filter, a clean saw, and fresh fuel mix will ensure proper adjustments and long service life. Good sawing to you.